Jerry Jones, there's no pull string on him. You never know what he's going to say. Here he is from 105.3 The Fan on Tuesday as to why NFL officials are not full-time employees across the board. Uh, there's nothing that says a full-time official will do better than the part-time officials. The quality of the people that you get with part-time officials are outstanding. They're outstanding. These are some of the most accomplished people in professions or or if you will, in the country, there are. And so uh, I've never been convinced, me personally, uh, that a, uh, a part-time uh, official that's uh, spending some of his time engineering would be better than a full-time official. I think nothing has convinced me that uh, there'd be that kind of advantage. Matter of fact, you might have less quality. Now, well, you might, here's, here's why you'd have less quality. Yeah. You'd have less quality because you don't want to pay what it would take to get the person who's doing two jobs to give up the other job and go all in as an NFL official. That's why there would be less quality, because they are cheap. This is all flowing from the perspective that Jerry Jones, when it comes to paying officials or paying anyone else, is cheap. And all the other owners, when it comes to this, I'm sorry, I'm pissing a lot of people off today, but I don't care. They're cheap. That's what this all flows from. This flows from being cheap. Because if someone has two jobs, we can get them to do our job for less money than it would take if this was their only job. And you can't tell me that having 365 day a year access to an individual who is all in with this profession, who is following an NFL approved diet, NFL approved workouts, full and complete and exhaustive meetings and breakdowns of film and simulations in the offseason. Right. Play Madden if all else fails. Going to practices, Simu- going reality. to OTAs, going, going exactly. to training camp. Yes. You're on the payroll right? all year long. And, and look, as somebody who used to work two full-time jobs, hey, once I got on one horse and stayed on one horse, I got better. Not much, but I still got better. Because I didn't have to worry about the other job. Yeah. Anytime. It's just more stuff for you to worry about. So, yes, full-time officials would be better. But, see, their concern is dollar for dollar, it's not going to be better. Right. Dollar for dollar, it's going to be a net loss for them because they're going to be paying a lot more for a little incremental uptick in the accuracy of the calls. They're gonna... And remember this. Remember this. Remember this. For every team that gets screwed by a bad call, there's a team that benefits from a good call, and there's this weird justification that they ultimately have, oh, we got screwed today, well, maybe the next time we'll, we'll be the ones who get the benefit of the bad call. That's how they kind of live with it. They accept that it happens, and they wait for the time that it happens, and it helps them. Yeah, well, the, you know, first off, like, you know, you, you get full-time officials, you give the consumers confidence, which is going to bet more, and they're going to get your NFL, you're going to get more money. You're going to get more money. Yeah, you're going to have to pay a little bit more for officials, but ultimately you're going to end up making more money because everybody's going to be – I mean, again, I look at the comments this week with some of the plays, you know, whether it's the Jets game or other games. Oh, the fix is in. They want Brady, blah, blah. It, there's, it's every week this goes on because there's questionable calls. Like, absolute ridiculous comment by Jerry Jones. Ridiculous. Jerry, go be a part-time owner of the Cowboys. Tell me how it works out. In fact, let's have Dak be a part-time quarterback and see how that works too. Let him go out and hang out and do whatever he wants, and then on the weekends he'll come and play the game. I mean, what a bad comment. I mean, that's just that, – that has no logic at all. Full-time officials, like you said, is only going to help the sport. They're going to be around it more. They're going to get coached by it more. They're not going to be so, like – you know, amazed and and caught up in the game and the actions of the moments at times where they're like, whoa, this guy's big and fast. Oh, wait, I was supposed to – that was – I don't know if that was holding or not. I was watching – I was watching Aaron Rodgers throw a laser. I I missed that because he was awesome. They're going to be less, like, uh, caught up by all of that and understand the speed of the game, the feel of the game. They're going to have conversations with coaches a little bit, what to look for. The game would only get better. It comes down to dollars. I'm glad you went that way because that's what I was going to say and – uh, I I actually can't even believe that came out of Jerry Jones's mouth. Everybody else connected to the sport is full time. They're all in. The coaches are all in. The players are all in. It's a twelve month of the year job for everybody else. It's not even a a one hundred percent focal point job 
for the officials during the season because they go home to take care of whatever their other business is. And yes, they spend less time on it during football season and they make up the difference the other eight months. It shouldn't be that way. One job. This sport is too important. There's too much money involved. The integrity, not just of the games, but the integrity of the wagers on the games requires that the NFL do everything in its power to create the impression that it is trying to get every call right. 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 Because that's one of the justifications out here. Well, there's still going to be mistakes. Right. But no one's going to say the mistakes are happening because the officials aren't full time. You take that off the table by making them full time. And it's just, hey, you know, we had some mistakes. And then you look for other ways to improve the officiating so you don't have mistakes. Look, the same mechanism, and, and this isn't the same person, but it's the same power structure that is saying that the part time officials are every bit as good as full time officials. That's the same crap we heard. 10 years ago when the commissioner said repeatedly when they were in a lockout with the regular officials because they didn't want to surrender too much of the great Mamu to the folks who are earning that money, the replacement officials that we hire will be every bit as good as the regular officials. And what did we learn? What did we learn? I got to, hey, Playmakers, coming out March 15, I got a whole chapter on the replacement official debacle. And I got some new reporting I got some new reporting about people in the league office who were petrified about what was going to happen. And they were amazed that it didn't implode before the Monday night game between the Seahawks and the Packers with the fail Mary call. And what happened after fail Mary? They snapped. They broke. They cried uncle. They had the thing done by Thursday night when Gene Steratore got to have what was described to me as his Maximus moment in that Browns Ravens game where he, you know, the, the, the real officials are back, baby. I mean, so it was BS 10 years ago when they tried to get us to believe that replacement officials would be as good as the regular officials. It's BS now, yeah. frankly, for Jerry Jones to have us think that part time officials would do every bit as well as full time officials. That's crap. It's all driven by money. And and all these guys who are worried about pinching pennies have super yachts. And they're worried about pinching pennies and sacrificing the integrity of the game. This gets back to what I said the other day, Chris. Yeah. Look, I got lured into the sport by the mythology that was created by NFL films, that this that this venture is somehow bigger than life, and it's committed to doing the right thing and truth and justice in the American way. And all those kids that got indoctrinated have grown up, and they're saying, my God, my God, there, there, there is dysfunction and there is corruption and there is avarice and there is greed, and all these things about integrity of the shield are just words on a piece of paper. And for so many of these people, they don't have true meaning. And that part of it, to me, is sad. Uh, and, and this is a prime example of it. If they truly cared about the sport, if they truly cared about the teams, if they cared about the players, if they cared about the fans, if they cared about the gamblers, they would be doing everything they could to have a full staff of full-time officials. Agreed. Uh, I mean, well said. I mean, 100%. You know, I just that's to me where the sport has to go. It has to go there. It does. Like you said, it's become too big, too powerful in the country. It's affecting too many people's lives, whether it's the coaches, the players, people in the front office, or the people gambling. It's a, this is an American issue. You know? So that's where I just I don't buy it. And, uh, yeah, they, they need to go full time and, and pony up. Just take five feet off the yacht. And that'll pay for all the people (laughs) or or add some more junky stands to your stadium like Daniel Snyder. And that'll pay for it. No problem. Hey, listen, I've heard some of the numbers of what it costs just to have the yacht maintained weekly. No, the staff, the full time, not part time, the full time staff on your yacht. I mean, if you can have full time employees on your yacht. But part-time officials, that's maybe a sign that you got your priorities a little bit out of whack. A little bit. Jerry. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.